वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल पी सी एम बी टूटोरियल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न क्लास नाइन्थ फाउंडेशन सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स दिस इज आर चैप्टर नंबर वन सर्च रिविजन क्वेश्चन अबेट लेवल अप इन वन शॉर्ट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज based on objective type objective type and write ot in short ot objective type the first question i'll read out i'll explain the question and write the answer the question in is In which of the following pairs of thirds are the given two thirds similar? Question number sorry option number one is root five comma seven root five. Option number two is. Cubic root of seven. And root seven, two root seven. Third option is root seven comma root twenty eight. And option number four is both. Both one and three. So, root seven comma root two eight root two eight. We can write it as two under root seven. So root th root seven comma two under root seven we can write and then these two options will get same because root seven root five same they are pure third and seven root five and two root five are mixed third. This both are true and this is different case. Here every third is pure third. so that's why option number 1 and 3 both are correct so option 4 that is both 1 and 2 are correct then it comes question 2 based on again mcq it is given like If if root seven plus two root three root seven plus two root three upon two root seven minus root five is equal to c plus root p plus root q plus root r upon twenty three over here p is uh, q is greater than p and r is greater than q and over here p q r are rational numbers. Then we have to find q plus r minus p is equal to what? Option number one is three sixty one. Option number two is three zero two. 
ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री इज फोर वन एट ऑप्शन नंबर फोर इज फोर टू सिक्स we have to choose correct option so in this question first we'll solve this one in that we'll rationalize the denominator so now we will rationalize the denominator रूट सेवन प्लस टू रूट थ्री इंटू टू रूट सेवन प्लस रूट फाइव अपॉन टू रूट सेवन माइनस रूट फाइव इंटू टू रूट सेवन प्लस रूट फाइव आई एम राइटिंग डायरेक्टली बिकॉज इन प्रीवियस पार्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वेरी मच अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन and if you have not seen those parts please go and check through it the playlist is already made for it now we'll apply root 7 multiplied by 2 root 7 plus root 5 Plus two root three multiplied by two root seven plus root five. We'll get fourteen plus root thirty five plus four root twenty one plus two root fifteen. Like this, we'll get. and this would be equal to sorry upon we'll get 2 root 7 2 root 7 minus 2 root 7 whole square minus root 5 whole square it is 2 into 7 that is 14 minus 5 Uh, means sorry uh, it is 2 root 7 so whole square that is 4 into 7 that is 28 minus root 5's whole square that is 5 means 28 minus 5 will get 23 equal to this e equal to equation was this one so we'll write c plus root p Plus root q plus root r upon twenty three. This twenty three and twenty three will get cancelled because they were in opposite opposite directions and were in same place means both were in denominator. After transposing, we'll cancel them. The value will come one. Now we have to solve this. Fourteen plus root thirty-five plus four root twenty-one plus two root fifteen is equal to c plus root p plus root q plus root r. Rational number is equal to rational. C is rational and fourteen is also rational, so C is equal to fourteen. We'll write like this: root p is equal to root thirty-five. Root q is equal to four root twenty-one plus sorry comma 
root r is equal to 2 root 15. Now this root p, root q, root r in pure third and this values 4 root 21, 2 root 15 are mixed third. So we'll write them in the form of pure third. Root q would be equal to, we'll transpose 4 into the root, so we'll get 28 into 16, sorry, 21 into 16. So, we will get 21 into 16. Three thirty six root three thirty six q root q is equal to root three thirty six. Now uh, chance of root r it would be equal to root fifteen into four. That would be sixty root sixty. Now these are in pure search. We have to write them now in the form of p. Q and R uh, means Q would be greater than P and R would be greater than Q. So, root 35, root 336 and then root 60. Like this. Now, They have said root P is the very less. So, smallest one is root 35. So, P would be root 35. Q is the less than R. Means greater than root 35 and smaller than root 336. So, Q would be root 60. Like this we have to guess. Root R is the greatest among all, so it would be root 336. Like that. Now, we have found the values. We just have to find the value of this Q plus R minus P. Q would be 60 now this root root will get will get cancelled because at both sides there is there is root q would be 60 means at the place of q we will write 60 plus r would be 336 minus 35 336 plus 60 will get 396 minus 35 will get 361. Now we have got the answer 361 and the correct option is option number 1, 361. Like this we have to solve. Let's move towards another question. Question number 3. Again, objective type. Another question is also too easy. It is about rationalization. The question is 1 minus 1 minus root sorry, uh, 1 minus bracket 1 minus root 3 upon 2 minus 1 upon root 3 plus 1 is equal to what? So, option number 1 given is root 3. Option number 2 given is 1. Option number 3 given is 2 root 3. 
and option number 4 is 0. We have to find the answer. So now, first of all, we will rationalize only this term. So then we will get the answer and then we will solve further. For rationalizing only this, we will multiply it with root 3 minus 1 with both numerator and denominator. So we will get 1 minus bracket 1 minus root 3 upon 2 minus root 3 plus 1. After simplifying, after removing, opening the back bracket, you will get this answer upon root 3's whole square minus root 1's whole square. square. We will get root, root 3's whole square is 3 minus 1's whole square is 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. Means common denominator upon 2. Plus 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled. Like this I will your understanding. Then we will get minus 2 root 3 upon 2. 2 2 will get cancelled and this was in bracket. 1 plus root 3. Now, now, sorry, uh, there was plus over here. So, we'll change accordingly. It is plus. Now, 1 minus in bracket upon 2 as it is, minus 3 min uh, plus 3 minus 3 will get cancelled, 1 plus 1 will get 2. 1 minus 2 upon 2, 2, 2 will get cancelled, remaining 1. 1 minus 1 would be 0. Therefore, correct answer is option number 4, 0. Like this. I hope you have understood till this. Now let's move towards the subjective type questions to solve. First subjective type question. Subjective type. Over here the question is if x is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2, then find the value of root x minus 1 by root x. In previous parts also of this chapter search, we have learned how to solve this type of questions and these are really too easy to solve. 3 plus 2 root 2. We will put the values directly. 3 plus 2 root 2 whole root minus 1 upon root 3 plus 2 root 2. Now we will first find the value of 3 plus 2 root 2's whole root by formula that we have learned. First we will solve this so I will put it point number 1. Root 3 plus 2 root 2 is equal to root A plus root B whole square 3 plus 2 root 2 is equal to A plus B plus 2 root AB. A plus B is equal to 3. 2 root 2 is equal to 2 root AB. 2, 2 will get cancelled. AB would be equal to 2 by squaring both sides. Then we will write B is equal to 
3 minus a will derive we have derived this a in bracket b's value we have find 3 minus a equal to 2 3 a minus a square equal to 2 a square. now we'll transpose because this a square this square term should more should be in positive so we can solve easy easier a square minus 3a plus 2 is equal to 0. Now multiplication should be 2 and addition should be minus 3 of 2 numbers. So such number is multiplication should be 2 and addition should be minus 3. Minus 2 minus 1. Minus 2 minus 1. A A plus 2 is equal to 0. A in bracket 1 minus 2. Sorry this was A square. A minus 2. Minus 1 in bracket A minus 2 is equal to 0. We'll get a minus 2 and a minus 1 equal to 0. Means this both. a would be equal to 2 and a would be equal to 1. Means root 2 plus root 1. Root 1 means only 1. This is the value. Now we'll put the value. The value of root 3 plus 2 root 2. We have got 2 root 2 plus 1. Minus 1 upon root 2 plus 1. We will rationalize root 2 minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 with both numerator and denominator of one side. Then root 2 would be equal to sorry uh, root 2 plus 1 minus root 2 plus 1 upon root 2's whole square is 2 minus 1's whole square is 1. That is 1. Root 2, root 2 will get cancelled. 1 plus 1 is 2. Therefore, answer of this question is 2. I hope you have understanding. Let's move towards the question number 5. Again, way too easy. Now let's start. This question is fifth. Positive, find the positive square root of 7 plus root 78. This is a very easy question. Actually, we'll write root of 7 plus root 48 equal to root A plus root B. Squaring both sides. I am writing in short but you have to write that in detail. That square both sides and all. 7 plus root 48 would be equal to a plus b plus 2 root ab. a plus b would be equal to 7. b would be equal to 7 minus a. Root 2 root 2 root ab should be equal to root 48 root 48 after factorizing we'll get two uh, we'll get 4 root 3 two ones are two two sa ab would be equal to 2 into 2, 4 into 3, 12. A multiplied by B's value 7 minus 8 equal to 12. 7A minus A square would be equal to 12. A square minus 7A plus 12 would be equal to 0. A square minus 4A plus 3A equal to plus 12 equal to 0. Now I have taken minus 4a plus minus 3a. 
minus 4a minus 3a because multiplication of this both is 12 and addition is minus 7. That's why. Means we have done middle term splitting. A in bracket A minus 4 minus 3 in bracket A minus 4 equal to 0. A is equal to it means A minus 4 and A minus 3. From here we get A is equal to 4 and A is equal to 3. Means we got the answer that is root 4 plus root 3 or else you can write 2 root 4 is perfect root so you can write 2 plus root 3 both answers are correct i hope you have understood till this another question is Question number 6. If x is equal to root 6 plus root 5. If x is equal to root 6 plus root 5. Then x square plus 1 by x square. Then x square plus 1 by x square is equal to minus 2. Sorry. Minus 2 is equal to what? So now, first, we'll just put the values root, root 6 plus root 5 whole square plus 1 by root 6 plus root 5 whole square minus 2 is equal to what? In this, you can see the identity. of x uh, yes the identity or else you can uh, write it like that only means root 6 plus root 5 is whole square you will get root 6 whole square that would be 6 means I will write 6 plus 5 plus 2 root 30 means this will come 6 plus 5 will come 11 plus 1 by 11 plus 2 root 30 minus 2 is equal to what now first of all we will rationalize this term to make our work easy We will get 11 plus 2 root 30 plus 11 minus 2 root 30 minus 2 upon 11's whole square is 121 and 2, 2 root 30's whole square is 2 into 2 into 11 is 30. Means 120. 121 minus 120 will get 1. So upon 1 means there is no value. Minus 2 root 30 plus 2 root 30 will get cancelled. 11 plus 11 will get 22. And minus 2 as it is. 22 minus 2 is 20. Therefore 20 is the answer. Like this easy was this question. I hope you have understood this question. Let's move towards the question number 7. Now question number 7 is Simplify
root 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 of sixty three plus root fifty six. This is the question. Now we have learned that for simplifying, for finding the root, the first term, the first one should always be rational. But over here you can see both are irrational. So what we'll do is we'll take root and we'll take one common. First we'll simplify it. 63 can be written as 7 into 9 plus 56 can be written as 7 into 8. 7 into 8. So now we'll take root 7 common. Root 7 whole uh, root upon root into root 7 into will write root of root 9 plus root 8 like this now root 9 is perfect Square, so we'll write it as root 3 plus 2 root 2. Now, we'll keep this aside for a while. We'll simplify this. Root 3 plus 2 root 2. Now this is one rational and other is irrational. Equal to root A plus root B. We'll do whole square of both the sides. We'll get 3 plus 2 root 2 equal to root 2 root AB plus A plus B. A plus B would be 3. From here, B would be...